hosted by uh, CRA, and uh, the chair of CRA told us a very interesting thing about our counties and uh, the life expectancy. When I saw my good friend Esther, we were together in the 10th parliament, she said uh, where she comes from, the average height is about five feet. Now what she did say, that uh, they might be short in that part of the country, but they live the longest. According to the CRA chair, and she also happens to come from Nyeri County, she said uh, uh, for those who live the longest, they happen to be women coming from Nyeri County. Then she said something very scary, that uh, those who live the shortest uh, happen to be men uh, from uh, Homer Bay County. <laughs> So, I, so I whispered to her that I'm, I, I'm so glad I went to school in Homer Bay, but I was not born there. So I hope I live a little longer. <laughs> so it's, it's so good to see you after so many years, and uh, to be here with the commissioners and the chair uh, NLC uh, to launch uh, these tools because it's very very important to see how the implementation and uh, the oversighting is done. Because as a country, we've done very well under the leadership of President Uhuru Kenyatta as the peers and the chair say, when you're looking at land reforms, land is a very emotive uh, matter in our country. We have had very many problems in different parts of the country, uh, clans fighting, people losing lives. And whenever we have elections also, we have a lot of problems uh, over land. Since independence, uh, we, I think we're only 10 million Kenyans at independence. Now, our population is growing very fast. We are over 50 million Kenyans. But Kenya remains the same, 582,647 square kilometers. Kenya is not expanding. The land remains the same. With the challenges of climate change, and the fast-growing population, we have to really think about our future as a country. We have to really plan. And that is why I want to thank uh, the chair and our team at uh, the National Land Commission, and also uh, the leadership of His Excellency, the President, the President, in ensuring that as a country we have in place a national land use policy. And we also have a national spatial plan. So as national government, we've done our part. Today, we are here to also ask the county governments, because this land, the 580,000 square kilometers, is divided into 47 counties. We are urging the county governments also do their part to ensure that they have special plans in place. It is actually a legal requirement. We would like them to do more than they've done. So far, only six have uh, special plans and I think it's good to, to appreciate uh, which counties. We have the county of Lamu, Makweni, Kericho, Baringo, Bomet, Kilifi, and I'm told Vihiga is almost completing. My good friend, uh, Governor or teacher, I think I'll encourage him to speed up so that uh, uh, we have the sixth, uh, uh, I mean the seventh county also having a special plan. And uh, we want to add the remaining 40 some who haven't even started, and some who are at different stages to uh, do their part so that we have this uh, process completed. So let me uh, thank you once more for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity uh, to launch these tools for the oversight and implementation of the National Spatial Plan 2015 to 2045 and the National Land Use Policy Session of Paper Number 1 of 2017. The National Land Use Policy sets out long-term goals on land use management to promote the best land use practices for optimal utilization of land resources. The policy offers a framework of recommendations and principles designed to ensure the maintenance of a land use system that will provide for land use planning 
resources allocation, environmental management, equitable utilization of land resources to meet governance, socioeconomic, cultural obligations of the people of Kenya, mitigating problems associated with the poor land use, an integrated framework for preparation of a national spatial plan and review of various land use plans. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Spatial Plan, on the other hand, is one of the flagship projects identified under the Kenya Vision 2030 and provides a national spatial structure that defines how national space is utilized to ensure optimal and sustainable use of land. This is imperative as it facilitates the achievement of the land use policy principles of efficiency, equity, sustainability, and productivity. The plan anticipated to promote the attainment of national, social, economic, and environmental goals and objectives. Further, the plan provides strategies and policies to deal with national challenges, including urbanization, regional imbalances and inequalities, rural development, environmental degradation, transportation, and the underutilization of the massive resources available in our country. The implementation of the NSP will enable the country achieve global competitiveness, balanced regional development, functional human settlements, and environmental sustainability. The above two policy documents, the National Land Use Policy and the National Spatial Plan, identifies government ministries, county governments, and I'm, I'm hoping there's representation from the Council of Governors, or Asante uh, private institutions, and non-state actors as the key implementing agencies. The National Land Commission, by virtue of their mandate under Article 67, to edge of the Constitution is to monitor and have